Hey guys, so welcome to your love reading for Virgo. This is going to be for your November 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see what's next for you guys in love. Okay, and then we'll finish off the reads to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Um, so apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch the roles if you want. Uh, could be a situation that you are dealing with somebody or you're not dealing with anybody, but we're just going to take a look and see what's coming towards you. Uh, so, um, Keep in mind that these are general messages, so take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, these are collective messages for the collective Virgo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too. All right, so tell me about um, tell me about Virgo. Virgo, what's next in love for Virgo? What's next in love for Virgo? What's next in love for Virgo? For November 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Virgo. Virgo. What's next in love for Virgo with the Eight of Wands and the Page of Pentacles here? Someone here is reaching out to you for some sort of communication. Could be some sort of offer here, some sort of an apology here, okay? So Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, for Virgo. Some of you guys could be physically moving away for a job here. Some of you guys could be getting a job offer where you, where you have to physically move, okay? We have the Five of Swords here. We have the Six of Pentacles. Whatever this is, I do feel like this is an individual that's trying to win you, win you over or win you back. Whoever this is, this person's definitely dropping a lot of gifts. Whoever this is, I feel like this person's trying to like, I don't know. I feel like this person's trying to woo you or something like that. But with the Hermit and the Nine of Pentacles here, I feel like you're distancing yourself from this person. Uh, maybe you have dealt with this person in the past. Uh, maybe this person plays a lot of games. Maybe this, this, this person breadcrumbs. Or maybe, maybe this person doesn't really have anything to really offer you. Uh, but yeah, I feel like you're completely distancing yourself from this person. Uh, Page of Pentacles and the Two of Cups uh, here. Whoever this is, like, do you feel like this is an individual that's falling in love with you? Uh, perhaps there is a mutual love between you and this person, but there's a bit of a bit of a, a maturity difference, maybe an age gap here between you and this person. Yeah, it seems like there's there's a lot of conflict. There's a lot of change that's happening with you and this person here. You know, I, you know, one of the things I'm getting here between you and this person, uh, I feel like one of the things I'm getting here between, uh, you know, the honeymoon phase between you and this person's over. Things are starting to get real. You know, I feel like what was bothering you with this person before, now it's starting to really bother you or that it's, you know, vice versa between, uh, you know, uh, it could be a mutual thing here. The Six of Pentacles. We have the Three of Swords, Time of the Hermit. Uh, and, and yeah, I do feel like you guys are definitely going through like a hard time here. Like I said, I feel like the honeymoon phase is over and I feel like what was bothering you before where you just didn't say anything, now it's starting to really bother you, okay? Uh, and and, and same, same could go, go for the, this person that you're dealing with here. The nine of pentacles here and the eight of pentacles. Yeah, it seems like someone here is definitely distancing, distancing themselves. Perhaps both you guys are distancing yourselves from each other here. But yeah, there's definitely a bit of a... There's definitely a bit of a some sort of break here. You know, th there's definitely some sort of like a disconnect now. A disconnect is starting to... Yeah, it just seems like maybe you're realizing that, or that both you guys could be realizing that now that the honey, 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 me, honeymoon phase is over, you guys are realizing that maybe you guys are not really meant for each other. Yeah. Some sort of major realizations happening here, okay. I, I get the feeling that some of you guys might have, might not have been uh, might not have spoken for like a week, uh, maybe or two. What else do we have for for Virgo? What else does Virgo need to know? Look out for work on for November twenty twenty three when it comes to love. Some rising Venus signs for Virgo. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords and the Six of Wands. Yeah, um, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you're not wasting your time if you're realizing that there's a disconnect with this person. It's so it's sort of like you're getting uncomfortable being around this person or that this person's uncomfortable being, yeah, you know, I just feel like you're looking for more. You're looking for more depth. You know, perhaps the honeymoon phase, it was more like a physical connection. 
Yeah, uh, maybe you know, for one person it was more emotional, for one person it was more physical, but there's a bit of an imbalance here between you and this person here, but this is you moving towards a new beginning. This is you getting bored of the whole situation. This is you not wanting to really share your cups with this individual because I feel like you're coming to a realization that this person is not right for you. Yeah, you're coming to that realization and you know, and you're not willing to put yourself or jeopardize your own happiness by staying in a situation that's not really meant for you. Uh, you know, because you know, that's a recipe for disaster. That's a recipe for just creating your own suffering when you do that. We have a hangman. That's not the hangman. I'm so sorry. We have judgment, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, you're definitely awakening to the fact that you and this person are completely different. Yeah, I really feel like it was like more of a physical thing. It was like more of a, like a very passionate thing, uh, a quick flame that wasn't really meant to last. Yeah, uh, Six of Wands, we had the Emperor Aries energy. Wow. Here, here we have someone here that's be coming in better suited for you. Yeah. You know, I, f I feel like as soon as you close this door, the universe is about to send you someone even better. Yeah, send you an emperor here, someone here who's more mature, someone here may maybe you have more in common with, you know, you know? Uh, we have the Nine of Swords and the Four of Cups, we have the Ace of Pentacles here and the Temperance card. Yeah, I feel like over, yeah, I feel like really over time, your body was like really resisting the situation here, re really resisting this person. Your guides and your angels or your ancestors are stepping in like, hey, you know, Virgo, this is not really a, an ideal situation for you to be in. So what's happening is I feel like you're closing out a cycle with this person. I do feel like it was a quick cycle. Maybe it was a two, three month, four, five, six month flame here. Um, uh, nine of cups here. Yeah, I do feel like whoever this is, this person, yeah, this person does love you. But perhaps, you know, I take that back. The love thing was not really mutual. It's, it's one-sided. It's a, if anything, I feel like this person fell, fell in love with you, but you just don't feel the same way about this person here. And you just don't want to waste your time building something with this uh, with somebody here where you don't feel the same way about them. Yeah, it just seems like, it, you know, um, you know, over time or that the more that this progress, you're just really not really emotionally invested into this. You know, you're looking for something else. You're looking for something better. Tell me this emperor. Why is this emperor here? Let me take a look at this emperor. This emperor, the knight of wands. Shami here is definitely coming in to sweep you off her feet here. I do feel like whoever this is, I do feel like this person's really good in bed. This person's really passionate about you here. Uh, this person's actually very peaceful, okay? Very stable. Um, you know, basically they, they, they have their life together. Yeah, this person has their life together. The one is coming in. Yeah, that's what I heard. The one is coming in. The one's coming in for you. Uh, this is definitely a divinely guided soulmate. You might even have a past life soul tie with this person here with the Six of Cups. But, you know, I do feel like, you know, once you close this door, the one is coming in. Yeah, because I, I feel like you're realizing that you're wasting your time with this person. Uh, this person might come in during airy season. I wouldn't say that it's going to be immediate, probably in the next, like, maybe four months or so. Uh, but, you know, not right now. Uh, but Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.